In this video, I'm going to be testing out the latest from Sunny Pilot. You'll notice that for most of the trip, I'll be using the new experimental long mode, which means that OpenPilot will be deciding how fast it wants to go. I set the max speed to 70 miles an hour, and I'm just going to let OpenPilot decide how fast it wants to go throughout. When OpenPilot does get the speed wrong, I'll be using MADS to take over the gas and brake while the car continues to steer. Driving on the highway is much better with the new experimental mode. As you see here, I'm no longer far below the speed limit. The hairpin coming up has a speed limit of 50 miles an hour, and my car was going way over that. If I used MADS to control the gas and brake while it steered, the results might have been different in the situation. The turn was too severe for how fast the car was going. You can also see my car cutting the inside corner during this turn. As a note, I do have auto-tune on which in theory should allow the car to learn how much torque it applies for every turn. But I have noticed that the auto-tuning does get influenced by the type of roads that you drive on. So if most of your roads are straight highways, the torque levels are going to be quite low, and if you're often doing a lot of curves, the torque settings are going to be higher. I've seen the torque values sway quite a bit, but I also don't do as much driving anymore. Finding the best static values would probably be the way to go. Off camera, I did check my mirrors and do a shoulder check. I don't trust the blind spot monitoring for my car. Calm has plans to use the driver monitor camera for blind spot detection, but I don't think I can trust that. If you look at your own driver monitor footage or even go on the GitHub to see the images used for training, you'll notice that a lot of the road is blocked by either yourself and the car.
I'm approaching the curvier parts of the highway, so you'll see me have my hands ready to take over the wheel at any time now. I had to take over here because the car was cutting into the inside of the lane. You see me playing with the buttons on my steering wheel with my left hand, but that has nothing to do with open pilot. I was trying to turn down the music that was playing. And if you're wondering what song I was listening to, it was the intro song for Digimon, as requested by one of the YouTube viewers here. Here you'll notice that it gets dangerously close to the inside line. It cuts to the inside line a few more times in this video. This seems to be a regression because in the past I didn't really experience that.
The green bar in the UI indicates that the system is fully in control, but in actuality I am providing some friction to the wheel to avoid it from cutting in too far. Here, again, I'm adding some friction to the wheel so that it doesn't go too close to the line. I disable the adaptive cruise control for this hairpin exit. I keep the steering enabled, but I do override it. There was no way I had enough torque to make this turn. Kama limits how much torque the car can provide, but pretty soon Kama will be relaxing those rules. And then hopefully my car can make these slow maneuvers. You'll notice I still don't have the adaptive cruise control on, but the car is still steering for itself. That's the Sunny Pilot Mads in action. The model wanted to use the entirety of the lane, meaning it wanted to be in the middle of it, but with the car there I did have to take over. For this next bend, I'm again using MADS to take over the gas and brake. I'm driving really slow but letting the car do all the maneuvering on its own. I didn't have the cabin audio uploaded because I was afraid of copyright infringement with my Digimon music playing, but you can believe my wife did not like what I was doing here. I was really impressed that my car was able to achieve that maneuver. Normally they man the station, that's why it was slowing down here.
I do have off-road tires and a lift, so when we went off the road here, nothing was damaged. All in all, the progress that Open Pilot has been making has been very positive. There have been some regressions as you've seen with the inside cutting, but I'm sure they can work that out. I'm looking forward to more improvements, so stay tuned. And once again, thanks for watching.